Mm. We I put out the call on yeah. the threads, or I should mm. check that, and on the discords mm-hmm. to say, uh, does anybody have any questions? Old mate, as he always does, old mate Florge, I should talk mm. to him one time, might do that. Old mate Florge says, how likely is the possibility of signs at Red Bull? Anywhere else seems like a massive downgrade for signs. So I guess that, that poses the question, does Red mm. Bull get rid of Sergio Perez and sign signs? Or not discuss. What do you think? I like the idea that they would sign another driver that's surname finishes with a Z. <laughs> not that common. I think that that's if they put themselves in that, that. pigeonhole forever. Say, everybody, bit of news. We're going to be dropping Sergio Perez. <laughs> oh, no. Look, don't even worry about it because you won't, there's not going to be that much of an adjustment because our new driver's name also starts with Z. I'll say it's great. Whew. Oh, you had me worried. Signs. <laughs> yes. Don't worry about it. all your microphones. will still get a fun buzz when you say their name. Signs. Perez. And probably not even saying it with a Z in those languages anyway. Yeah. Um, I never count it out, right? Because the idea that Carlos gets cut is everyone's made. Are people sitting around saying like, well, he was pick of the teams. <laughs> when in his interview post Japan, he was like, don't even think I've got a team right now. We're chatting <laughs> to a lot of people, but uh, as far as that, I'm unemployed as of the end mm. of this contract. Um, yeah, so usually things just kind of open up, right? It's like, oh, one move happens, and then, oh, it's all really clear. Yeah. Everyone will just slot usually. in. But Mercedes want to put this young kid in, or like I'd seen a little bit of chatter around. I can't remember the guy's name. Really should. Sorry, bad podcast, Brett. Toto Wolf manages this guy and he's like, he's going to be the next back Max Verstappen. I'm not missing out on the next Antonelli, Max Verstappen. I think it is. Yeah, Antonelli. There we go. Antonelli. It's a good name. Um, get him in the car. Couldn't be worse than what we currently got, right? Just get him in there. Don't worry about it. Regulations change the following year. Not a problem. Let's give him a good year. And then, oh man, what if he's better than, than um, <laughs> Russell? That'll suck. And then Russell does never Russell. really get a chance. Which I suppose the is thing what happened for me. Um, if you're mm. Red Bull, mm. you can choose to keep Perez. That's a that's mm. a thing you could choose to do. He's doing very well right now, and it sounds like they're literally about to announce in the next few weeks what's going to mm. happen. Yeah. So it's a good time for Perez to be in good form. But Red Bull contracts count for shit, right? Like you, you announce it, that's and true. then who knows? That's it. I think Perez is probably the favorite to retain to be mm. to stay to be retained, mm-hmm. even if they don't go with Perez. Ricardo was probably their backup unless his head went all over the place, which it sort of has. Mm-hmm. And then I think they want Albon. I think they want Albon's their next one, surely, right? I hadn't even thought about that. Right. Alexander Albon, wrecker of chassis. Yeah. I think he could be <laughs> in there. Yeah. He'll always give up his car for Max. Like, there are no questions being asked there. Like, it was just. Yeah, this is to say there's a heap of options on the table for Red Bull as opposed mm. to other teams who need some star power and a firing driver like yeah. Mercedes. No, exactly. This is just advantage Red Bull at this point, right? Everyone else changes and mucks around with their setups while Max is like, I'm just going to keep doing exactly what I'm doing with a supportive driver. I mean, he won't care. He they won't probably care will just, does. yeah, they'll just hang on to Perez. Like every single year we're all like, Mercedes mm. will probably dump Bottas this year. Right. And then they were like, no, <laughs> seems to work beautifully. Mm. Let's keep him. Not um, while it's working, we won't. Yeah, why would you muck around with everything? You know, we've already got all the race suits in his size. You know, so my, already, my we've written his name that. on everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That we put all the Zs, so we can't, you know. Mm. Um, my thinking is Red Bull don't need... Um, yeah. Red Bull don't need, need to pay signs a big as much as some signs. Signs. Yeah, and who, he's good. You know, what if yeah. one day he does beat Max and Max throws his, you know... I was going to say nappy sure. out of the pram, but that's not it. It's toys out of the pram. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> freaking bah. No, it's a self tell. That's called a self tell, what you just said there. <laughs> oh, is um, it? Right. <laughs> um, he can't stay at Ferrari, obviously. He has to leave. Mm. <laughs> he can't go to McLaren. McLaren <laughs> has very... to leave. Why does he have to leave there? Have they confirmed that that's it's a good... going? Has anyone mentioned this to him? <laughs> you said... know what, Carlos? You don't have to leave. <laughs> he hasn't been fired. He just hasn't no. been recontracted he could stay for nothing Look, there's no rule in f1 that says you can't just stay in the team maybe him and leclerc could share the other car <laughs> and then whoever's feeling it that day can get in they each have a practice <laughs> fastest time gets the chef 
man, that would be the coolest thing if teams had like four drivers and they all like, you know, hyper competitive. Whoever puts the best time in in practice gets to gets to actually go and quality. That'd be really good. Yeah. So, and probably won't be Mercedes. I think that's too weird for them. I don't think Russell would like that either. So who's left? Anybody? Anybody good? Aston? No, can't play your own child. Uh, no room at Aston. That's what I'm saying. There's no room at McLaren. No room at Aston. No Has to leave Ferrari. Ian. It's um, in at Red Bull or Mercedes. I'm not sure Red Bull won him. I think he's going to Mercedes. You think not? I thought this Antonelli guy was going there. Rod? I thought it was all Antonelli's. He's to lose. Well, is he? I mean, yeah. who, who would you choose? Who would you sign? I'd sign Carlos Sainz Jr. because go. he's a world champion in waiting. But does he want to go there? Because Mercedes aren't very good. So maybe like until they saw that car. I mean, we get to the end of the season and Mercedes are fourth uh, again, basically. Well, not again, but you know what I mean. And mm. like they seem no closer to getting that car sorted. Do you think they'll be able to, like, you could also just be putting in Korea in a really dodgy position because, okay, 25 is slightly better, but then 26, new regulations, sure. no guarantee they'll get that right. <laughs> Here's the wanna... thing, right? <clears throat> no, but no it... one's a safe bet. No. If it was two months ago when everything at Red Bull looked like it was on fire, mm. I would say, yeah, signs to Red Bull. Yep. They they need uh, they need someone better than Perez as a backup in case Verstappen walks. Yes. Now I'm not so sure. Especially yeah. also because I had a note here that we were going to mention it before too, but Adrian Newey was being very heavily sought after by both Aston Martin and Ferrari, but he's decided mm. to stay at Red Bull. As long as he's there, again, that settles the team, but as long as he's there, I really strongly think that Verstappen will want to stay. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Things I mean, at Red Bull just seem to have settled. Yeah, that all went away real fast because um, they, they started – they won again, right? And then it was all fine and yeah, put winning will heal all wounds almost. I wonder that Mercedes seat. There's a lot of auditions, I think, probably this season for that Mercedes seat. And I wonder this is going to sound like, oh my god, every classic, classic Aussie boy is on the podcast being like, hey, <laughs> I mean, Oscar Piastri, you could pry him out of that McLaren seat. Mercedes right. power unit team, hop him off over to Matt, that Mercedes. He's got all, he's still young. He's got all mm. of the ability. He really likable. I reckon he could pop into that Mercedes and then maybe you do end up with a spare McLaren seat and everyone loves them when they're together. Lando Norris, Carlos Sainz Jr. That's, a, that's all you want. That's the literally, power. that's at the heart this of is your all I want. there. This is why I'm, yeah, exactly. Don't talk about my... Um, <laughs> My reasoning for why I want that to happen, but I can put that. <laughs> okay. You know, Formula One always does funny stuff. That's my bet. Oscar Piastri is off to Mercedes, Carlos signs into the McLaren for a season. Just, and then he'll would... go, but then signs will go off and do the, um, do the Volkswagen. Yeah. Interesting. Thing. Here's what I think. Sign, if signs goes to Red Bull, here's what I would do. Elbon to Mercedes, Antonelli to Williams. Yep. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, Antonelli after Williams because it's been such a surefire way to get like genuinely like the Williams program has shown drivers to be pretty good. It's just a bit slow, that, the car, but also that the, setup. That, like they get in there and road. then they have to they, yeah, you know, waste away well, for a couple of seasons and then oh you're like oh yeah remember that guy's I mean, really good and then you end up at Mercedes. <laughs> I mean I know Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton have just signed multi year contracts, but I mean there's gonna come a time in a couple of years. And there's going to be some big where they get together seats yeah, available at the front running teams, so everything's going to shuffle. And if you're a young kid that's proven themselves, you might just be next in line to get one of them. But aren't they? I mean, we've said this before, hasn't it? Maybe the time has passed on that class, that that the Claire class of 1994 or whatever, where they're all like in their mid twenties now. No one's won anything, and. They're just waiting for Hamilton to leave. And then Max Verstappen came well, up was like, I'm younger than all of you, but I'm better than all of you. Bye. Yeah. I mean, I think it's the Max Verstappen show for another few years. And then yeah. it won't, after him, it won't be Hamilton again or Alonso again. I don't think it'll be mm. the next person, Piastri, Antonelli, whoever. Antonelli, who we don't know anything see. about. I can't keep track of all these young people. Just generally agree. <laughs> 
Try, try hanging it on threads sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> the TikTok on? trends just wash over me. I'm like, is this what we're <laughs> laughing about today? Cool. How many of these do I have to watch? Next. Very good.